Welcome. Today we're going to over the chapter chapter nine practice test. We're on page four, the top of page four. And so number 13 says, find the missing measurement, round your answer to the nearest tenth. So right here we've got a trapezoid. And the formula for the area of a trapezoid is base one plus base two divided by two. And then you want to multiply that by the height. Well, in this one, they give you the area of the trapezoid. So you plug that in for A, set it equal to the two bases, but that's what's missing. So I'm going to use an X for one of them and the 7.8 for the other. Divide that by 2 and then multiply it by a height of 6.2. <clears throat> so now, since this is being multiplied by 6.2, we're going to divide both sides by 6.2. And since it's being divided by 2, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So I get some stuff to cancel. These cancel, the 6.2s cancel, and we're just left with x plus 7.8. <clears throat> and then on the left here, what do we got? Let me calculate that out. I don't think that, uh, 2 times 31.6. Divided by 6.2, I've got, wow, that's not right, 2 times 31.6, divided by 6.2, I got 10.1, but why is that not, okay. And then the last step, I'm simply going to subtract the 7.8 from both sides. And so x should be equal to 2.4. All right, moving on to number 14. Number 14 is pretty much the same, same area formula. So we're just going to substitute in the values. The area is 51.5. One of the bases is missing, so that's going to go in for B1 plus base 2, so 3.4 divided by 2, and then the height is 8.3. Since this is being multiplied by 8.3, we're going to divide both sides by 8.3. And since it's being divided by 2, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, so they'll cancel, they'll cancel, and we just need to multiply all this over here by 2. Calculate this in your calculator, you should get 12.4 equals x plus 3.4. Subtract the 3.4 from both sides. And so x should be equal to 9, and this one is in centimeters. This one was in yards. All right, moving on down to number 15. Find the exact circumference of that circle. So the circle has a radius of 12. And the circumference formula, we're going to use the one with the radius, which is 2 pi r. So we simply plug in that 12, and 2 times 12 is 24. So we have 24 pi, and that's in inches. If we want to get a decimal answer, we simply take the calculator and multiply 24 times the pi button. And we get a approximately 75.4, also in inches. So you can either have your answer in terms of pi or as a decimal. Number 16, same formula. This time we're going to plug in a radius of 7. So we're going to have 2 pi times 7, which is 14 pi. And that one is in miles. And then we're simply going to type it in the calculator, which will get us an approximate answer. So I've got 43.9, which bumps it up. We'll go with 44.0, roughly. All right, jumping down to number 17 and 18. says, find the circumference. Use your calculator's value of pi. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. So if the, uh, so if the diameter is 8 centimeters, the radius is going to be 4. So if we have 2 pi r, that's going to give us 2 pi times 4, which is 8 pi. Multiply that out on your calculator. 8 times pi, round it to the nearest tenth. So 25.1. 25 
and this one is in centimeters. The, the diameter is 10, the radius is 5, so 2 pi 5, which is that 10. So 10 pi, punch it in the calculator 10 times the pi button, gives you a big long decimal, round it to 31.4 centimeters.